Now, before we get too far, we need to know how to navigate around the site. And I'm kind of just doing it just by habit, just because I've been using ZBrush for a really long time. Um, but I know if you're new to ZBrush, this is going to be kind of difficult for you to kind of start with. So let's start with navigation and really, really basic sculpting. Now, uh, this class is going to be built on, like I said before when we were going over the menus, not going over exhaustively every single menu option that's going to be nothing to you up front as a new user. I'm going to basically build on options as we get through them, as, be as they become more relevant. And we're going to start with just organic sculpting, then we're going to get into accessories, uh, head sculpts, body sculpts, accessories, hard edge stuff, and then as we get all the way through, you're going to know what most of these options and stuff do. And I'm going to try to document it good enough to where well enough to where you'll be able to go through and if you want to hunt and peck or you want to say you know what I want to know everything about Dynamesh not just the little bit you want to show me up front I want to know everything you can go through and actually watch all the Dynamesh videos at once if you'd like to um, but just for the sake of clarity and kind of building up your ZBrush repertoire uh, we're just gonna start simple and one of the simple things we're gonna do is just keep the ba sculpting basic for now and get into navigation so we've dragged out our object and we've gone from primitives to a sculptable mesh and now we want to kind of like go around our mesh and start sculpting so just by dragging an object out onto your um, viewport here onto your document uh, you've probably already started navigating and the simple way that you're navigating in ZBrush is just uh, I'm using a Wacom tablet here and you probably should be too or any tablet you'd like to use that's pressure sensitivity um, if you click in your document and drag you are going to rotate around your object. Now this, now ZBrush navigation is a little bit different than uh, say navigation in Mudbox or Maya. And, and then, you know, if you have a preference for that, you can kind of make a little bit of changes and I'll talk about some of those later as we go on. But for now, we're just gonna keep it uh, vanilla ZBrush navigation here. So if you click and drag in your document, you're going to rotate around your document. If you Alt, so I'm holding down the Alt key and then click and drag in my document. I'm actually going to pan. So I'm actually panning my object. So if I want to move it over here and then rotate, or I want to move it up here and then rotate, um, I'm basically holding down Alt and moving it and then rotating. So just with the Alt key right now, you can Alt and move and pan your object and then you can rotate. And again, just with the Alt key if you want to, uh, you can hold down Alt, pan your object. And then if you let go of Alt while you're panning, it's actually going to turn into a zoom. Now, I know that's weird, because every every time I've ever taught this to anybody, they're always like, what is that? That's crazy. It, it, you get used to it. Um, there are some alternatives to that we'll go over in a second, but just for now, we're going to keep it simple. Hold down Alt, Pan, let go of Alt, Zoom, and then Tumble. So between these, th these three things I've just shown you, just with the Alt key, you can completely navigate in ZBrush. Uh, you can use, and this, this actually alleviates the need to use the right-click navigation in ZBrush here which we can actually use. I mean, I'll go ahead and go over it. So by default, if you hold down Alt, tap in your document here and then zoom, it'll just zoom in on the last place you tapped. And that is controlled by this little local button here. So that's, let's talk about local transform. So if we roll over this, you'll see that it's called local transformations. What does that mean? Well, uh, just really quickly, I'm gonna make an appendage. So we have a piece of the object way over here and then the bulk of the object is here. Now, if I wanna sculpt on the end of this object, I'm sculpting on the end of this object here, and I want to rotate around this object, it'll do that automatically because I have this local button turned on, and it'll be turned on by default. So if I touch an object anywhere, and then I rotate, it's going to want to rotate around the last place you touched. So if you want to uh, sculpt on this object over here, on this little corner, start sculpting, or just tap it, it'll now rotate around that point. And this is, comes in really in handy when you're doing stuff like fingers that are on the edge of arms, the ends of arms and stuff, you're going to be you know, if you're if you don't have that turned on, you're going to be sculpting on fingers, and then you're going to rotate, and your hands are just going to go off the screen because you don't have local turned on. But generally speaking, you want to be focused on the last area you touched, which is going to be uh, local transforms. However, while we're navigating and we're in here, what you can also do is let's say we're zoomed in really far. And now we no longer have access to, so anywhere we touch in our screen, we're touching our object. So if I hold down Alt and touch, we're not going to be able to move unless two things. Number one, I can hold down, I can hold down my, well, let me, let me double check this real quick. So I mean, I wanted to double check on my Wacom settings to make sure that uh, the button I'm telling you is correct. So it's basically 
on my lower button closest to the nib of my pen, I have that assigned to right click. So you can actually navigate with right click in ZBrush. And the difference is you're still holding down Alt, so you're going to hold down Alt, and then you're going to right click, and then you're going to let go of Alt, and that's going to kind of zoom out. So you can do that. So, um, and that's actually two types of navigation. So while we're really zoomed in and we can't, and we're holding down Alt, and we're trying to tumble but it's not doing anything, you can hold down Alt, and then start panning. So you can actually Alt and then pan with right click, and then when you let go of Alt, you'll actually zoom out. So that's a secondary style of um, navigation in ZBrush. And it's also a little bit useful if you want to zoom in on a specific area of your object. So if you hold down Alt and then right click, you'll actually zoom in where your cursor is. So generally speaking, I like to keep it simple and just keep you in ZBrush navigation. But a lot of people actually kind of prefer this method of navigation, so I kind of wanted to put this up early uh, just in case it's useful to you. Um, but let's go ahead and get back in our trouble spot here. So we're really zoomed in on our object and we're sculpting and Alt moving and panning isn't working for us. You'll notice that there's a white line around our object that's actually our safe zone so that means if you're over here navigation it's not going to assume you want to navigate it wants to assume that you're sculpting on your object if you go over here in your safe zone it's going to assume that you don't want to sculpt on your object you want to navigate so we can actually while we're over here in this little white delineated area if we hold down alt and then tap we can now and right click we can pan we let go of alt we can, uh, I'm sorry, left click. So Alt, left click, we'll start panning, and then we let go of Alt, now we're zooming. So as long as you're in the safe area, you can navigate in ZBrush like you normally would. So if you just click and rotate, you can rotate. And now that you can actually see a little bit of the document, you can actually go over here and zoom out. You know, so you, I'm, I'm more of a traditional ZBrush navigator, so if I get in a trouble spot like this, generally what I'll do is I'll zoom out until I can see a little bit of my document, and then I'll go ahead and start doing that. If you're so inclined, you can also do the right-click navigation, which is basically uh, right-click to tumble anywhere in your scene, and depending on where your cursor is, you're actually, you'll actually tumble from that area, uh, and then right-click to tumble, hold down Alt to pan, and then right-click to pan and then let go of alt and then you can zoom in. So those are two methods of navigation, both are perfectly valid. And there's another method of navigation that I want to show you, but I don't want you to use it, <laughs> if that makes sense. You also have over here move, scale, and I, now I know in traditional programs this isn't actually, you know, you don't scale an object to get closer to it in a traditional 3D program, you zoom. Um, it's called scale over here. And you also have rotate. Uh, you can use these, there's nothing wrong with using them, but if you want to be fast in ZBrush, I would suggest not going over here all that much. You want to just, you know, keep it in here and move and no, get, get good at navigating in the viewport, you, whether you use right click, or you use traditional ZBrush navigation, it just, it just beats going over here. Now, if you need to go over here for a specific reason, for some, you know, very weird thing you need to do, that's fine. And, and if you want to use that, go for it. I'm not going to judge. Uh, I'm just going to say, in my experience, if you want to be fast at ZBrush, go ahead and just do viewport navigation, which is, again, Alt, and then tap to pan, and then let go of Alt to zoom, or just click in your document to rotate. Uh, alternatively, you can do right-click anywhere in your document, even on your object, to rotate. Alt, right-click to pan, and then Alt right click to start panning, let go of alt, and that'll zoom. Uh, again, the difference being uh, when we're sculpting in ZBrush, if I'm all over my object, I can't rotate. I have to go out here to my document to rotate. If you use right click, you can rotate over your object. Uh, as well as when we're zoomed in, you can right click and then zoom out, as opposed to going over here to your safe action. Again, both of them are fine to use, but those are your two different methods.